Well, state senator leaves out a side door without taking questions after a long ethics hearing today. Senators are looking into a pair of Republican complaints against DFL Senator Omar Fateh. Political reporter Theo Keith is at the Capitol for us tonight. So, Theo, what do these complaints allege and how is Fateh responding? Amy, one of the complaints seeks an investigation into Fateh's ties to a federal voter fraud case. The other one that came up today accuses Fateh of seeking state money for a nonprofit that ran free ads for him in 2020. Fateh says he paid for those ads. I do. Senator Omar Fateh sworn in along with his Republican accusers. The Senate's ethics panel quickly took up a complaint accusing Fateh of seeking state grant money for a Somali broadcast outlet that ran free ads for him in 2020. Hello, my name is Omar Fateh. The ads do not show Fateh paid for them. His campaign finance reports didn't either until Fateh changed them on Tuesday. Fateh also provided receipts from Cash App, a mobile payment service showing two $500 payments. His attorney acknowledged an error, but not a scandal. The allegations before the subcommittee today are fundamentally based in rumor. Somali TV's president says he forgot to include Fateh's payment disclaimer on the ads, but Republicans pushed for further investigation. I would argue that none of the information that they provided um, disproves our claims. The ethics panel has two members from each party. One of Fateh's fellow Democrats said she believed him. He's my colleague. I have no serious, I have no reason to believe that that's not true. The panel did not start considering a second complaint, which seeks to investigate a federal voter fraud case in which Fateh's brother-in-law was convicted last month of lying to a grand jury. In the fallout, Fateh's legislative aide has left the Senate. Fateh left through a side door without taking questions. The senator's attorney would not explain more. Again, I have no comment on anything else today. Um, today for the hearing, we did go over complaint number one, um, and I've already given my comment on that. This is the first time in seven years that the Senate ethics panel has met. It is meeting again next week to take up that second complaint and to decide whether to authorize an investigation of Fateh. Now, Fateh is running for re-election this fall, but he has drawn a DFL challenger in Minneapolis Teachers Union official Sean Layden. Randy? All right, Theo, thank you.